Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. So this is Shashank and I am back here with another video. Sorry for not posting for a long time. But anyway, in this video, we will be cleaning. Uh, yeah, I am really sorry. But anyway, uh, coming on to today's video, we will be cleaning my Minolta X300 camera. Not mine, my father's. Minolta X300 camera. So this is Old Spice or any alcoholic product uh, after shave type. Yeah, because you need them because uh, they contain more 95% alcohol or rubbing alcohol. I didn't have rubbing alcohol, so I'll be using this uh, to clean the camera. So let's get started. As you can see, this contains 95% of alcohol. So then you'll need uh, your buds. So as you can see, you, uh, your buds, two buds, two tips whatever in this case uh, yeah so that will be needed and uh, then yeah that's it so the lens cleaning will be coming in another video so now wait for the part 2 and I'll be having a new project stay tuned for it it is nothing to do with the camera it is a different project it is about you know cyclish type that's the hint which I can give you uh, that's why it's so much delay and I had exams in December then January uh, and this is the delay so the videos will be coming one by one I had to just do arrangements for them you know buy some tripods a better mic so you guys can uh, hear more properly see more properly and this is uh, your q-tip so then do not dip it like this I'm not dipping it I'm just showing you but do not dip it like this because it will contaminate whatever you have inside your container and if you're going to use it for your face if in this case it's an aftershave I am not using my father uses but uh, if you're using it for that please don't do it rather than this pour it in a container or in this case I have used a sauce so oh, what is this what is I don't know saucer I think yeah so I'm be using this uh, we'll be using this for now and then that is your q-tip soak it in it and start cleaning so after cleaning nicely in the grooves and edges uh, we'll be cleaning as you can see it has been more clean than it's before so uh, yeah, um, uh, the window sound please uh, I'll be putting might put soundproofing do something for soundproofing in a budget if I'll be doing I'll put a video on it and uh, I'll be cleaning clean the edges correctly and there are points in a film camera which is more important than a DSLR because this is a film and it's pretty allergic to water I mean it's hydrophobic to see it scientific it's hydrophobic so we'll not be using uh, water on it please don't use water on any surfaces too much water if it gets inside the camera the camera is completely useless I'm telling and uh, uh, that's why I said uh, it should be 90% and more did I say 90% and more alcohol uh, is needed to clean uh, because you know more alcohol can uh, evap you know water is less in that contain or use just 99 percent of straight alcohol which is more better and more useful you get it so yeah so you can use like that which is the bestest way uh, i didn't have it and since i'm only doing an exterior cleaning and please don't use lens cleaner for the body it's not for the body you can use it for the lens that will be coming up part two so wait for that don't hurry or use someone's videos so we'll be cleaning it as you can see when the lens part and the film uh, back part comes uh, I'll be calling you guys so till then
this area especially under the film Pullakava if you have this type I call it the Pullakava I don't know what's actually it's what, what is it called so we clean it uh, clearly and uh, clean it under that make sure to clean it under that that is the most and uh, where you keep your eye because any dust goes in your eye it's uh, on uh, in can damage your eyes it's, there's the that's the place which you keep your eye in and uh, then open up the film cover and change butts throughout on how dirty they are that's according since this camera was not used for later four five years maybe in the last it was used when i when i was five or six something uh, it was used now i'm 14 so okay so now we clean that area and uh, yeah deep cleanly and underneath that cap is a main area to clean so clean it underneath that cap also and around the lenses everywhere uh, so after this time lapse you can see uh, the lens where next to the lens on how to clean it actually it's coming very soon so I have no problem in that uh, so I'll be on uh, on audio Should I capture the time lapse or what? And time lapse will be there. So now open your lens and take a new Q-tip here. Don't use the old one. So I took a new one and around the body, do not put your Q-tip inside of it. Q-tips are not meant to go inside there out of where the lens mounts there only have to clean and if it goes inside there's a different method if you want that method i'll share with you please comment down below as you can see how much dirt has been accommodated there and after this area please do not put a q-tip inside because this is a mirrored camera and it can damage the mirror and then your entire camera is waste because you don't get any more spare parts for mirror tx 300 370 uh, it's very rare you get only used and I have the experience of missing the lens cover and I have to uh, buy uh, buy a ticket from a used parts camera so yeah so then that's it cleaning it uh, so that's it for this video please like share subscribe comment down below thank you bye bye see you guys in the next one